we saved the data sent to the server in the Python Fast API project to a list in previous lessons. We learned how to update, delete and read data in the list. However, when the server was restarted or shut down, the data in the list was deleted because it was saved in memory. We need to solve this. Instead of saving the data in a list, we will save it in a database. Thus, the data will not be deleted even when the server is restarted or shut down. In this video, we will learn how to connect PostgreSQL to Python. I published a video to learn how you can install PostgreSQL on your computer. You can access the video from the description section of this video. First, let's take a look at how the API implementation works. I can activate the server this way. The list is currently empty. I am sending two data to the server. I can access the data sent to the server using a GET request. I can reach a specific member using ID. I can perform the update using a PUT request. Member updated. I can delete data using delete request. Member deleted. Currently there is only one data on the server. I will change and save the code file to restart the server. The server was restarted automatically. There was one member on the list. The list was reset when the server was restarted. Because the list is saved in memory and reset when the program restarts. We use database to solve this problem. You can use any database. I will use PostgreSQL database in this video. I need PostgreSQL library for connection. I can transfer the library using pip install on the command line. I import the library. I create an infinite while loop for the connection. I need a variable. I will synchronize this variable with the connect function. I need to send some parameters to the connect function. I need database, user, password, host and port values. I can find these values in PostgreSQL. You can watch the video in the description section to install PostgreSQL on your computer. You can see the database name in this tab. In this section you can find all the other information you need. Password is the password you set when installing PostgreSQL. I send all values to the connect function. I need a cursor variable for database reading operations. If the connection is successful, I print it. I can check if the connection fails with exception. If there is a connection problem, I print it on the console screen. When you run the program, the connection will be made successfully. If you get any errors, you can mention them in the comments. Thanks for watching. 
To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.